Guys, this is Anmol and today we are going to talk about one of the most essential supplements that you need to take, especially if you are on a vegetarian or vegan diet. We are talking about omega-3 fatty acids, an extremely essential fat that our body does not produce naturally and thus it needs to be ingested via foods or supplements. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook to get weekly science-backed health and fitness content to help you be your best self on a vegetarian or a vegan diet. Let's get started. Omega-3s are part of polyunsaturated fats and can be divided between DHA and EPA sources and ALA sources, both of which should be consumed daily. Acosapentaenoic acid and docosahexaenoic acid are very important for your brain function. That is to say, they improve your cognitive abilities. They work wonders for your heart health by increasing good cholesterol levels. They help reduce triglycerides, which is the technical term for stored body fats. They are essential to maintain a healthy eyesight. They are associated with healthy blood vessels and reduced plaque buildup. And finally, they help reduce inflammation. Now that we know that DHA and EPA are very important for us, Let's understand how do we actually get it. You need to supplement and you have two sources. Fish oil pills like cod liver oil or krill oil are a great and cheaper source of omega-3s. I personally take them, but you need to make this decision for yourself if you are okay with consuming them as a vegetarian or vegan. But we also have a great vegan source of these, algae oil pills. Algae actually produce these omega-3s and fish just consume these algae or phytoplanktons and thus build up omega-3 concentrations in their bodies. Algae is a great vegan source of DHA and EPA but it tends to be a bit more expensive. I will link some recommended algae products in the comments below. We will discuss daily intake recommendations later in this video. The third kind of omega-3 fats that you need is alpha-lipoic acid or ALA. ALA is important for energy metabolism, increasing antioxidant enzymes, improving cognitive abilities, healthy heart function, and inflammation reduction. It also has anti-aging properties due to sad reduction in oxidative damage. You'll find them in flax seeds and chia seeds. Just try to consume them grounded so that you can actually absorb the omega-3s. ALA is also present in walnuts and is the reason why our moms tell us to eat this nut, which looks like a brain, to improve our brain function. Added benefit is that you get a good source of fiber with all these. By the way, some people say that our bodies can convert ALA to DHA or EPA and thus we don't need to supplement with these. But in the best case scenario, this conversion is only 3 to 6% of the ALA intake and is thus not sufficient. You need to supplement for DHA and EPA. Omega-3, Omega-6 ratio. Omega-6 is found in various nuts and seeds vegetable and flower oils like canola oil and sunflower oil etc. We should ideally maintain a omega-3 omega-6 balance but unfortunately our bodies typically contain too much omega-6 and low to none omega-3. In US this ratio is typically 15 to 1 while in India it can be as bad as 50 to 1 and this ratio has only skewed this much in the last 150 years due to technological developments making accessibility of omega-6 easier. This high omega-6 content in our body can cause a lot of issues with the primary ones being increased inflammation and pain and increased fat storage with the associated negative health impacts. We will talk further about omega-6 in a future video but for now just be actively mindful of keeping omega-6 intake low and consume higher amounts of omega-3s. How much omega-3 should be consumed daily? It depends. It depends on your daily fat intake goal and also on how much omega-6 you are actually consuming. We want to ensure that we maintain a balanced ratio of 1 omega-3 to 1 omega-6 in our body. But for most people, I would recommend having at least 1 to maybe 2 omega-3 pills daily of let's say algae oil and also consume a small handful of walnuts or grounded flax or chia seeds daily to get a good dose of ALA. And that's the end of our video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions on omega-3s or any other topic really regarding health and fitness advice for vegetarians or vegans. Thank you for watching and we will see you next week. Next week we are talking about something new that is being legalized in Canada. Stay tuned.